Wait a minute, this is not One Piece. Shredder, Sweeney Todd, step in the fire. We will get the turtle. You heard me. Everybody go kung fu fighting. Wait a minute, what is this? Earth, water, wind, fire, Captain Planet. You're my hero. It's a live action cartoon, Airbender, starring the guy from The Matrix, the Spoon Guy. I don't want to do practice. Well, you got to do it, Yuki. Wait, this is not Yu-Gi-Oh. What am I watching? It's a giant guy. It's a giant, giant flying horse uh, dog from the never-ending story. The never-ending story. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here comes the Eskimo people. The, um, the uh, what do you call it? The ice climbers from uh, Super Mario Brothers. Um, Smash Brothers. The ice climbers. Oh no, it's Pocahontas. If she was some kind of um, serial, um, I mean, you know. Uh, hey, don't call me that, that Ray. Oh my, let's let's go learn. You gonna learn? Are we gonna fall in love? Okay, I'm gonna tease you the ways. Oh my God, get off me! I'm turning into uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh no, I'm talking to one of the. One of the previous avatars. The show is pretty good. The characters are pretty good. There's going to be some problems, especially if if, if you're a, a big fan of goddamn uh, cartoons, which I've only seen a little bit of it. But it's like it's a typical um, complaint that people have when they're looking at these kinds of things. Look who did! I got a pawn from my my uh, church board. You know. Meanwhile, uh, this this is one of the hunters that captured the avatar. Oh, uh, look, it's an ostrich. It's a dodo bird. What's a dodo, dodo bird doing in this show? And, uh, oh, this is the part where where the son's like, I'm holding back and stuff. And, and the father, who's like the uh, fire king in the north or wherever he is, he's like, you can't do that. You can't hold mercy. You can't have mercy. And then, and now he's in love with another girl. But she's, she's like an animal person. And, uh, she's like, and then, and then one of the guys, like, he's upset because his girlfriend's, like, stuck in a tree or something like that. And, uh, she's, she's having a good time with him and trying to save a fist in a, in a, in a secret garden. Meanwhile, this is, like, at the end, and he's like, you know what? I'm gonna kill a fish, and then that's gonna turn off the moon somehow. And and she's like, you know what? I'm gonna become that fish. For a second, I thought he was gonna do that, but instead he became some kind of water monster, and that was kind of cool too. And um, so he ends up fighting his father again, like this. And so they have this uh, Star Wars moment, like with Luke Luke Skywalker and. Darth Vader, and and at the end, the old guy, the other guy, the uncle guy, he's like, uh, he's the one that like grabs the uh, fire whip and and throws him off overboard off the ship, and uh, I thought he'd be dead, the Fire King, but he survives. Avatar is a water creature. They kiss, and then C turns into into Aquaman. No, she's just. She turns into a fist. The moon comes back. There's a little, little bit of a balance. And so then he can uh, turn back into a little boy. I'm a real boy now. And then they're crying. They're not having a good time. But dude, they're doing a little bit better. And they're going off. And meanwhile, I guess he's not dead. So I was a little bit surprised about that. You know, I, have, I haven't read the books. If there are any books or the comics or the cartoon. And so I don't really know, but... Here she is, and she has some kind of army, and she's uh, leading the uh, the Beetleborg. The, isn't that what they look like, the Beetleborgs? Or like, uh, I think the Power Rangers, they had uh, they had some putties like this, like some, what do you call it, like foot shoulders that look like that. And uh, she's like, yeah! Last airbender, and uh, that's the end. And... Uh, and she's interesting, but not very interesting. She's not that powerful in in a way. 
So it's pretty good in a way, but compared to the cartoon, it's probably not good, but I wouldn't know. I'm just like looking at it as a person who doesn't know anything about the, the lore of the airbender. And I'm like, you know, that's kind of kind of nice for uh, a cartoon for children.